Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. So excited this morning um, before I like tell you what I'm excited about um, a little bit of backstory about it uh, when I was hired as a coach at the school um, the girls had had their current uniforms for about four years I realized that's kind of like a normal thing in other sports to have like uniforms for a long time like football jerseys and like basketball uniforms and like all of that but cheer uniforms what is happening down here okay cat was getting in, into something um okay cheer uniforms if they are not good quality and if they're not taken care of really well are not going to last years and years um and these uniforms were not good quality uniforms and they had not been taken care of so they're in pretty rough shape a lot of them uh i had to go through all the uniforms there were tons of them because like they would order like new uniform like a new uniform if like they didn't have the size for someone um like knew who was on the team so there were tons of uniforms in there and i threw away like over half of them that just were not like salvageable <laughs> because the stains were just like too much or like they were ripped in some way that like could not be fixed um and even the ones that were salvageable still like have issues in some way so anyway i was determined okay this year we are raising money to get new uniforms they're going to be good quality so they will last because I know it's not possible with the cheer budget that we have to get a new uniform every single year and um, cheer uniforms are expensive um, so yeah I'm not gonna make like parents pay for a new uniform every year plus at this school um, the school owns the uniforms so it's like the school buying them uh, so anyway, I was like, we're going to raise money, get good quality uniforms so they can last that long and not be like falling apart. Um, so I found a new uniform. Um, I went through Rebel and with Rebel, you can uh, work with one of the um, designers and they will help you design a like custom uniform for your team like tell them okay I really like this uniform and you can go through and basically like design it for your team and um, then they send you a prototype like an actual uniform that the girls can try on to make sure that's exactly what you want and then you approve it and then they make your order in bulk so I got the prototype today I've been telling the girls that the prototype is coming for so long, um, but it takes like eight weeks. Um, so I'm so excited. The girls are going to be so excited because I'm going to take it tonight because we have a game. Y'all, I was having a heart attack over here because I heard the door opening. It was just Matthew coming home for a minute. <laughs> but... I'm gonna show you a little peek at the prototype right quick. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because I'm only showing the girls right now. Um, just because I want it to be like this big reveal for everyone when um, the new uniforms are shown. So I'm just gonna show like a teensy peek. So first off, here's the new like um, braiding that we have on here and the silver material is actually like the metallic stuff it's not the weird thing that they have on there now and the material is such good quality y'all oh my gosh I'm so excited and I think that's all I'm gonna show but just like y'all look at it 
I'm so excited for them and I'm so excited to bring that to practice tonight and show them wait no the game tonight sorry and show them <laughs> anyway let's do the advent calendar and also get me some coffee I found it yesterday. So where'd it go? Right down here. Mickey loves this time of year because his heart is full of cheer. I'm about to edit the vlog because I didn't do it last night. I ended up working on a whole bunch of other stuff, but I totally forgot to mention. <laughs> Matthew and I had to get stuff ready for school this morning in the dark. So usually McKinnon uh, wakes up for school around like 7, 7.15. But Matthew had to take her to early care this morning because he had to be at a job at um, 7:30, so he had to have her there at 7 at early care which meant she had to wake up at like 6 or 6 15 this morning well we got woken up at like 5 30 and the electricity went out and we were like um <laughs> and the power like goes out and then comes back on a whole lot at our apartment complex I don't really know why it just happens on like <laughs> a pretty regular basis but it'll just be like a, it goes out and then like a couple minutes later it comes back on so like I was just waiting for it to come back on and it wasn't happening and I was just like uh okay turns out there was like a really bad car wreck and um it like cut the power so yeah, um, when we woke up to get her ready for school and Matthew to get ready for work and like pack her bag and everything like that, it was obviously still dark because it was like 6 in the morning, at least at like 7, 7.15, like it's somewhat light at that point, um, but it was dark at that point still and so I was having to like use my phone I had to go find a flashlight because I was like uh, there's got to be one somewhere I found a tiny one is it over here no I think I put it away like a teeny tiny flashlight um, I used my the flash on my phone and I just like turned it over to light up the room <laughs> McKinnon kept asking me to turn on the Christmas lights and I was like I can't so she grabbed my phone and shined it at the tree and she was like look I turned them on <laughs> it was so cute um, but yeah it was definitely interesting not having the power while we were getting her ready and everything because I was like you never realize like how much you need it until you don't have it <laughs> anyway um yeah that was crazy but I'm gonna edit the vlog now because I never did it last night because I was working on a whole bunch of other stuff um but yeah gotta get that done I'm all ready to go I had some food my head is hurting really bad though I need to take some ibuprofen or something um, but I've got the prototype uniform in my bag. I've got a Santa hat. I also grabbed some little mini candy canes for the girls in case they want some of those um, before the game. Because we show up like an hour and a half before the game tonight. Um, normally it would be like two hours before the game. But, or wait, two and a half hours? I don't remember um 
but we're not doing hair tonight because uh, the girls are wearing Santa hats. They're just gonna like do their hair on their own because they're it's gonna be kind of hidden. Basically, by the Santa hats, it still needs to be uniform, but it's not like a huge deal. Like we're not gonna have to put the bows in. Um, it doesn't have to look perfect uh, because it's gonna be hidden. So I told the girls they could just do it on their own and then show up when it's time to like put on hats and. Uh, start warm-ups and stuff like that so showing up a little bit later tonight i've got a snack for on the way got a bunch of waters in case any of the girls forget water set out mckinnon's clothes i got an extra santa hat so she could wear one she's wearing her uniform tonight um which she just has a skirt that matches them and then she wears like a gray shirt um but yeah, she's wearing her uniform tonight and some leggings because it's cold. I'm wearing Christmas earrings. I'm not wearing a Santa hat. I'm just wearing Christmas earrings to kind of go with them. But yeah, that's what's happening. Riley is like all up in my grill today. Riley, you want to come say hi to Vlogmas? Say hi, everyone. No. She's like, I just wanted pets. Don't put me on the camera. <laughs> okay. Y'all. So again, I have Christmas music playing. I am home from the game and we won! It was like 70 to 60 something. So close the entire time. But we were always ahead by just a little bit the entire time. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a really good game though. Way better than the first game. The girls did really good. I showed them the uniform and they loved it. Um, one of the girls got to try it on and she said it was like way more comfortable than their current uniform because it's like way better quality material. They wore their Santa hats tonight and let's see what else. Um, oh, I brought them like mini candy canes and they loved it. Uh, and McKinnon wore her uniform tonight and they did a stunt with her and I took a photo. You can see it on my Instagram, but I'll also stick it in right here, over here, right there. Isn't it cute? Um, yeah, so it was a really good night. Matthew is picking up food for us right now uh, with McKinnon, he has McKinnon with him. And yeah. McKinnon, are you gonna come open this? Yeah. Look, you have day three. Day three, look for number three. Number three, McKinnon. <gasps> what is it? Candy cane. Oh, There's only one thing. You want me to open it for you? Yeah. Okay. I got candy cane. Candy <laughs> cane is coming on me, but I can very hard eat it. All right, I'm gonna give you half of it and then you can come back and get the other half, okay? Because you can't eat the whole thing at once. Okay? Okay. Here's the first half. Is it yummy? Yeah. <laughs> what are we about to do? We're gonna open the army counter. Yeah, and then what are we gonna do? Toenails and my fingernails first. <laughs> yeah. My toenails first. Okay, toenails first? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Alright, which one are you hoping to get today? Toy Story. Alright, well, we'll just have to find out. <laughs> okay, today is day three. Okay, can you find number three? Nope. We're looking for number three. Three. Yeah. <gasps> You'll get the Toy Story one. Stop, McKinnon. <laughs> You'll get the Toy Story one eventually. Today you got Monsters Inc. You want to look at it while I do your toes? Ah! <laughs> Let me get it. Let me the other monster thingy. 
All right, we'll do this one tonight, okay? I don't want it. Wow, somebody was not in the mood for Monsters, Inc. I have no idea how she knew where the Toy Story one was, but unfortunately, Toy Story is on day 10. <laughs> I don't know if I should move it up to maybe tomorrow, because she has been asking for Toy Story every day. Um, I don't know. I feel like maybe I should just like make her wait. But uh, how did she know that's where it was? Like you can't tell what they are by like the top. I don't know. All right, McKinnon, time to do your nails. By the way, this is how her tree currently looks. It was all nice and decorated. And now she has redecorated it multiple times. This is not even like an ornament to put on there. It's uh, just a little decoration that is, like it actually goes too. in her kitchen. What do you have on? I have this on. What is it? It's um, thingy to do our nails. Oh, you wear that to do your nails? Yeah. Okay. All right. Interesting. I'm going to You going to sit in your chair so I can do your manicure and pedicure? I'm going to sit in it. Here. I'm going to sit in this chair and you come bring whatever chair you want to me. Am I doing your toes or your fingers first? Um, my fingers. Okay. <laughs> All right. We have this that has a light on it, so it helps. Y'all, I am not a hat person at all, but I love Santa hats. <laughs> McKinnon wore this one tonight because she was wearing her uniform to match the girls, so I gave her um, the extra Santa hat I bought and let her wear it. <sighs> yeah, I love Santa hats, but I'm just not a hat person. Perking up. You want to say hi to the vlog? Come on, turn your head. Just a teensy bit. Turn it. Just a teensy bit. <laughs> she gave us a little peek. Aw, hi, baby. It might be cold outside. 